customer. Wait, what's your rush? What's your hurry? You gave me such a fright. I thought you was the ghost of a minute. Can't you sit? Sit it down. Sit. All I meant is that I haven't seen a customer for weeks. Did you come in for a pie, son? Don't forgive me if me head's a little vague. What was that? But you think we had the plague? From the way that people keep avoiding. No, you don't. Heaven knows I try, son. But there's no one comes and even to inhale. Right you are, so would you like a drop of ale? Mind you, I can hardly blame them. These are probably the worst boys in London. I know, I know, but it is a take them. I should know, I make them, but good night. The worst boys in London. Even that's polite, the worst boys in London. If you daddy take a bite, is that just disgusting? You have to concede it. It's nothing but crusting. You drink this, you need it. The worst boys in London. And I wonder with the price of meat, what it is when you get it. Never thought I'd live to see the day. Many think it was a treat for them poor animals. What are dying in the street? Mrs. Mooney has a pie shop. Does her business, but I notice something weird. Likely all her neighbours' cats have disappeared. Have to hand it to her. What a course. Enterprise. Popping buses into pies. Wouldn't do in my shop. Just the thought of it's enough to make you sick. And I'm telling you, them pussy cats is quick. No denying times is hard, so. Even harder than the worst boys in London. Only Lord and nothing more is that just revolting. It looks like it's molting and tastes like. Well, pity a woman alone with limited wind and the worst buzz in London. Ah, sir, times is hard. Times is hard.